oftentimes when I'm studying for products to review and suggest, you find that many people absolutely love the specific offerings of the features during the review process at say six to 12 months. But what happens to that tablet at three, five or seven years down the road or the extra quiet dishwasher. Often it's not quite as rosy and that aspect may be hard to quantify in terms of how much people like things down the road. If you're going to ask me what the largest culprit of all the problems that it comes to when dealing with why appliances are so bad, I think this next one is going to be at least my favorite or your least favorite depending. And that is cost. We've already discussed in the video that Wholesale margins recently aren't great for the industry. From what I've seen, cheap mid-grade models simply don't make money for the manufacturers. It's the more expensive complex pieces of crap. And this causes a lot of problems. It makes companies seek out more or different ways of making money through cleaning products, extended warranties, water filters, and of course, the expensive repair parts. Instead of making money on the margins of the appliance, they now try to make the money on volume of units or those ancillary things. But why would companies do these terrible things? And a lot of that is because of you. No, not the camera guy, the person in the camera, you. The hard truth is that appliances have never been cheaper than they are now. And what do you think the actual cost of the appliances are that we're looking at in our room were when they came out? First, let's go to my grandma's refrigerator over here, the 19, 50 General Electric. 